Hello guys, I'm back with another build review. This is the Andromeda X build. It's been updated to 4.0. And um, I'm going to try to keep this video short. So let me get started. Here you have your hub, your movies, your TV shows, your kids, your TV slash sports, your music, your add-ons. Alright, so it's just a clean, simple build. Easy to navigate. Um, let me show you here for the widget. We have most popular movies. All right, here you have your featured movies. Your featured TV shows. And most popular TV shows. Alright, and um, when you click on Hub itself, it takes you to the Extended Info Mod. From here you can add your own movies and your own TV shows by hitting the Context button and then you would add to Library. Alright, to switch over, you slide all the way to the left, click on the button one time, it switches to TV shows. Hit the Context button and you could add to Library or you could play your movies and your TV show straight from here by clicking it alright you could just click play and you could choose from one of these add-ons that you want to play with play the arm um, content with alright now keep in mind not all add-ons are compatible with it even though it says you know you have all these add-ons here alright so it's the mod it's not the add-ons not playing alright for um and I'ma also show you how to troubleshoot you know just in case none of the add-ons don't work with it I'll show you how to go about doing that also alright so let's get back out of here all right so here we have our movie section so each movie that you add to your library gets put right here so it's a quick access for you to get to your movie you can just click on it all right I usually use Elysium um, Exodus is sometimes Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But I usually use Elysium. As you can see, it's working. Let me cancel that. And I could choose which stream to play from. Alright, so when you go down, you have your movie sets. So, as you can see, I've added John Wick chapter 1 and John Wick chapter 2 when you click on that okay so the more movies you add you know the more it populates so it's easy to get to your sets when you scroll down further down you have your movie genres all right in the submenu, we have Bubbles Movies, Elysium Movies, Exodus, Movie Dude Movies, Flick Next, Reborn Movies, Showbox Movies. Alright, next we have our TV shows. In the submenu, we have Bubble Shows, Elysium, Exodus, Flick Next, Reborn, Showbox. Okay, for the widget, here, for this section, here's where your, um, the, the TV shows that you put in your library it goes right in here so it's a quick shortcut to get to your TV shows the more you add the more this populates alright here we have our kids section when you just click on kids it takes you to Bobby's TV Alright, 
in the widget we have Disney's collection All right, you go down one more time, you have some more kid movies. Go down again and you have um, Binky TV. All right. Next we have um, TV slash sports. When you click on that, it takes you to the um quantum add-on which gives you the um oblivion iptv um bam f iptv pyramid live ultra live fido free view deliverance and supremacy all right in the widget we have um live premiership sports you go down one more you have um the Rock Crusher add-on for sports. And you here you have your TV channels. Alright, so it's a good list of channels right here. You have your HBO. Nickelodeon. Alright, when you go down one more time, you have here's your sports channels. Alright. And here you have your music. When you click on that, it just takes you to this um, category right here. You can click on music add-ons and go straight to your add-ons. If you have more music add-ons, you can add them. It's just a quick access to them. For the widget, you have popular music videos. Top 40 charts, web, top 100 music videos and top 40 music videos alright here you have your add-ons in the sub menu you have your settings your favorite folder file manager programs your video add-ons your music add-ons picture add-ons your add-on browser that takes you to install from zip file All right, and your file manager is also here to that takes you to the ad source. All right, and um, when you press up and then you press up again, there's also some shortcuts right here. All right, so let me show you how to install this. You can install it from the Aries, um, the Aries Wizard under the name Steven in um, browse um, all builds. But it came to my attention that the Aries Wizard um, source has been changed, but the old one still works for me, and. Um, let me show you the source. You would go to add source. You will click on none. All right. And the source that you'll put in there is right there. As you can see it on the top. All right. I'm still using the old source. I haven't come across the new sources yet but the old source still works for me alright so after you put the source you'll name it to whatever you wish I just left it at magic you can name it whatever you want 
and then you'll hit OK. And then you would navigate to your add-on browser that takes you to install from zip file. You scroll down. I named I left it at magic, so you scroll down to whatever you named it and you'll install it. I already have it installed, so you'll wait for the notification to pop up. And once that does, you just go up one time and go to install from repository. You go to Aries Project and you scroll down to program add-ons and then the Aries wizard. It's already installed for me so you just have to wait for that notification to tell you that it's enabled. And after you're done with that you'll go to your program section and your Aries wizard will be in there. Okay. Now you give it a couple of seconds to pop up. All right, so once it's once you get to the screen and uh, make sure you did a fresh start. If you haven't already, you could just go to more and then scroll down to erase all data fresh start and then once it's done you can force close it from here alright and after you've done a fresh start you'll go to browse builds and you boot it back up to Cody you'll go to browse builds and then you'll scroll down till you see the name Steven And it's right here. You click on it. And then you're going to scroll down to Andromeda X. If I passed it. This is the old one. The old version. As you can see it's 3.0. This is the new version. Don't worry about the art on the on the right hand side. It'll change soon. But um, the build you're looking for is right here, Krypton Andromeda X, for this particular build. All right. You would click on it, and after you've done your fresh start, you can just hit start, and then you hit proceed. As you can see, the build is 266 megabytes. Alright, so I'm going to just cancel it because I didn't do a fresh start. I just want to show you guys the updated version real quick. But that's how you install it. Alright, thank you guys for watching. And I see you, I'll talk to you guys another time.